you, you know, very much identified as a feminist and there's all that stuff, Harriet Harpers and all, and all that. I mean, do you feel we're over that now, that, 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 that actually it's not an issue anymore and perhaps it was when you started? Well, I think that there's a lot more of an understanding of what the argument is. However, a lot of the issues still remain to be dealt with. But women are a critical mass now in politics, so we are not, you know, the rare isolated outsider. So the government's saying that those hospitals which opt out are still part of the health service will still provide basic treatment to everybody. Opted out hospitals will only have to provide accident emergency treatment and core services. In that clip that we've just looked at... I see your, uh, Sky News' first bulletin. Yes. In your, in it. I think that you can tell that I am hoping that people will be listening and hoping that they will... I'm always was trying to persuade in a rather deferential way, not necessarily believing that people were going to be paying any attention. It's a bit deferential now. I feel like telling my younger self to get a grip and speak a bit more authoritatively. You got criticised for your dungarees or something, didn't you, at one point? Um, I... I mean, the amount of time that, that we all thought about what on earth we should wear in the chamber and as politicians out and about. You know, it was quite easy for a man to be in a suit, but there was no such thing as a professional woman's clothing because there virtually were hardly any professional women. I wanted to look like I could convey to my constituents and people that I was a, somebody who could help them if they needed help and was authoritative. The results are still coming in, but one of the things that I found most heartening is the new Labour women members of Parliament that are coming in from the marginals. And you don't think over the decades it's got crueler? You think it's pretty much the same? Oh, I think it's pretty much the same. I think it's... Yeah, I think it's, it's always been there. I mean, I, I, re I feel less so about it now, but I remember feeling always under threat, in a way, of somehow something would be exposed about me that I would have done, but I couldn't think what it might be, but that I would be found out for having done something terrible and vilified across the press, and always that feeling of jeopardy. Camera. The cameras are not there. Off camera. OK. Just... The press gave me, as a politician, a feeling of constant jeopardy that I just lived with.